All right. Well, welcome to Abraham's Gate. Yes. Uh, and uh, the reason I want us to come here is because of all the stops we make on this tour, this is the oldest. This is the most ancient place that we will be. Uh, and the second one will be at Megiddo tomorrow. Uh, but today we're here at Abraham's Gate. And so this dates back almost 4,000 years ago. And let me talk about how we know that Abraham came here. Well, we might guess even on his journey from Ur to Haran. If you remember, Haran is where Abraham's uh, uh, father died, Terah, and then he continued, God called him. He would have come by close to here. We don't know exactly where, but he would have come close to this area if you look at the map. And then he traveled down, uh, to, uh, uh, down south. Uh, but uh, to Hebron, etc. But here, later on, remember when Lot was captured? Mm -hmm. Then he took 318 of his trained servants and he pursued those kings that had captured Lot. And it says he pursued as far as Dan, and we are now in the tribe of Dan. And then it says a few verses later that he went to Hobab, which is north of Damascus. So we know he didn't just come to the southern part is Dan, but he went beyond this. And so at that time, and this is recorded in the Bible, both in Judges and in, uh, in Joshua, and I think in Deuteronomy as well, this place wasn't called Dan, it was called Laish. So the king of Laish would have been living in here. And so it's very likely that Abraham, you have to use your imagination now, would have walked on these steps with his beautiful <laughs> wife, let's not forget her, Sarah, <laughs> very possible, and, and for sure that Abraham uh, could have walked here. And, and so I wanted us to come to this place because it is the oldest place that we will visit, that we can know for sure that uh, a person was here or, or as reasonably as you can know anything, Abraham per, came through this area. And of course, Abraham <laughs> is very important to us. Uh, you, God called Abraham and he said, uh, come out from your country, I'll make a new nation. And then the God said, those who bless you, I will bless. Those who curse you, I will curse. Now it's very important. The word curse in English is a very strong word. If you look at the root Hebrew word, it means to curse is to wither. So you could say that those who bless Abraham and his seed are blessed. Those who uh, reduce it, minimize it, they are themselves minimized. Now, so of course, any sensible person would want to say that, well, if Abraham's seed is blessed, I am Abraham's seed, right? <laughs> and so, uh, uh, so who is Abraham's seed? Well, certainly the Jewish people uh, claim to be Abraham's seed, rightly so physically. The Arab people which are the descendants of Ishmael. They make it also claim to be Abraham's seed. You know, Abraham had eight sons. Um, we sing seven. Father Abraham had seven sons, but he had eight because after Sarah died, when Abraham was 139 years old, he married again. So it's amazing for a child, for a man whose body was dead at 99, at 139, it's still going. And he had, uh, he had, uh, was it six more sons? And so that is, uh, that's amazing. I'm not going to go too deep into that revelation because then you will miss the main point. But uh, obviously yes. when God uh, made Abram, Abraham, which is uh, the letter H is added and the letter H, you know, when you say H, you always breathe out. And it's, it's the letter for the breath of God, the Spirit of God. So when God put His Spirit on Abraham and He went from Abram to Abraham, well, it affected many areas of his life. And so he had many sons and daughters, and then he divided the land that God had given between them. And of course, Isaac received what we know today as, as uh, the land of Israel and even beyond that. Then I want you to see something else. And this is very important. Who is Abraham's seed? This is a question that many people don't know. I'm amazed how many people don't know that because we need to bless Abraham's seed. We need to bless Abraham's seed to be blessed. So what's Abraham's seed, folks? Well, let me read it to you right out of the Bible so that you don't have to take Peter Youngren's word for it. You can just believe the Bible. 
Right. And it says here, Galatians 3.16, Now to Abraham and his seed, capital S, were the promises made. And then it says, it doesn't say, and to seeds, plural, as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, the blessing comes. And then it says, here comes the definition. Hold on. Are you with me? Yes. Which is, does it say, does it say Israel? Does it say the Arabs? No, what's Abraham's seed? Which is Christ. Christ is Abraham's seed. Amen. So he who blesses Christ Amen. is blessed. Amen. Those who curse Christ are cursed. And then, to make you even happier, to make you know why I wanted you to come to this place, which most Christian groups don't come to. Right. But, you know, I pushed hard right on. to get you here. I hear you. And here it says a little for a few verses later in Galatians 3, and if you are Christ's, anybody here is Christ's? Amen. Anybody belongs to Christ? Well, Amen. then I'm talking to you. If you are Christ, then... You are Abraham's seed yes. and heirs according to the promise. Amen. So I'm asking you again, are you Christ? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I don't hear it. Are you yes. sure? Yes. All right. If you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So whoever blesses you, if you're Christ, they are blessed. And so, uh, yeah, there's much to say about Abraham. I had to pick and choose which, which truth I would give because you could spend a whole Bible school semester on Abraham. But I want you to look at this. Take a picture. This is the oldest site we will visit. And in your mind's eye, before I finish, picture Abraham with his 318 trained servants coming up the road here. It wasn't paved last time I was here, so it wasn't paved when Abraham was here, but, but coming up, and maybe the king of Laish, obviously he didn't resist Abraham because he continued his pursuit, so maybe he was welcomed, maybe he had a, something to drink, maybe they had a meal together, and then Abraham kept up his pursuit and rescued his nephew Lot. Oh, yes. Amen.